Hello everybody, John here, and Lilia. Lilia was crying in the living room, so I had to bring her in here. Hopefully she cooperates. Today I want to talk about internet cafes in Japan. These are also known as net cafes. A number of people will stay here and actually live here. They're what are called net cafe refugees, or cyber homeless. Netto cafe nanmin in Japanese. Where they will stay here because it's so unbelievably cheap. It's cheaper than a business hotel, it's cheaper than a hostel, it's cheaper than even a capsule hotel in some of the cities in Japan. It's about 300 yen per hour to use the internet, and then they have all you can drink, you can you can get soda, you can get coffee, you can get a number of different juices. No free alcohol, sorry guys, but you can stay in these places for a very long time. In fact, if you wanted to stay there overnight, some actually provide showers. You can stay there for $14 to $24 a day. So a lot of people who don't have jobs or who are have very low income jobs will stay at these places. And when they apply for jobs, they'll actually put the address of the internet cafe on their resume. Uh, a lot, of, lot of great services. Some of them actually have games in them, but manga. Here's, here's a, an adult section of magazines that I found while I was in one in Nagoya. It really is unbelievable uh, the amount of stuff you can do in these places and how amazingly comfortable they are as well. The Japanese government, in fact, has estimated that more than 5,400 people will spend more than half their week in these internet cafes in Japan. What? Yeah, I know, that's crazy, right? Some of the places will also have showers. They'll have uh, vending machines that will have uh, underwear, uh, personal items such as toothbrushes and toothpaste. What? Uh, they really want you to stay there, actually, and pay. Um, it really is cheap. I don't know how they, how they keep their prices down, especially when they have so many computers. Uh, the people that stay there, the net cafe refugees, typically aren't interested in the internet or in the manga. They just like to stay there and sleep. Some of these internet cubicles will provide computers that have business software on them, such as Microsoft Word, Microsoft Excel. I think you may have to pay a little bit extra, but it's really not that expensive. I think that these places are uh, very, very convenient. I think they're more popular and, and mainstream in Japan than anywhere else in the world. Well, that pretty much sums it up. Thanks for watching, everyone, and we'll see you guys next time. Say bye-bye, Lydia. Bye-bye! There's a smile. <laughs>